So, Tucker, are you ready for phytoplankton nerd training? Sure, why not? Okay, so first you're gonna throw the bucket into the water. Um, and you gotta do that three times, by the way. Um, so now, we have a crab bottle. You do that three times. Guys, mom's car time for the beauty selling. Cellular or phytoplankton. In. These micros microscopic organisms originated around the Jurassic period. They have cell walls that are made of silica, and once they die, they have solidified skeletons that do not decompose. Yay! Welcome to the Phytoplankton Nerd Club! Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Now that we are here in the lab, we can look at the what the diatoms that we have collected look like under the microscope. Although diatoms are these tiny little microscopic organisms, they play a very specific role in diatomaceous earth. I'd like to thank everyone who came here today in remembrance of the great diatoms. During these long past millions of years, the tiny aquatic creatures called diatoms have fossilized into a sedimentary rock that eventually finds itself crushed into a fine powder, becoming what we know now as diatomaceous earth. Accumulating over long periods of time, it is found within rivers, lakes, and the Great Ocean. Being composed of 80-90% to 90 of silica, it provides many uses for all. More importantly, the diatom's ability to absorb carbon dioxide from its environment has been heavily discussed with scientists. If we were allowed them to grow in numbers, there could be a way to slow down the effects of climate change. Let us preserve its fossilized form, so that we may protect the home we all share for future generations. Rest in peace, our little diatoms. Your service will never be forgotten and will live through diatomaceous earth for the years to come. allows for a sample of the seafloor sediment and benthic fauna to be collected. On a big scale, there will be a core that is deployed off of a boat. Further information that can be gathered includes the mixing depth, which would be found by how many phytoplankton are carried away from the surface into the sediment. If there is a larger area of mixing depth, then that means that there is likely also more phytoplankton being lost from the surface and pulled into the sediment. Good evening and welcome to the Diatom Diary, Diary Evening News. Tonight we have a special treat right here in our very own studio. Before she heads off on another expedition is Freya Mitchinson from the Jody's Resolution. Hello, nice to see everyone again. And it's nice to be back on land where it's a lot less windy. And as you mentioned, I will soon be leaving for Expedition 396. So can you tell us what the goal of the upcoming Expedition 396 is? Um, in Expedition 396, we'll focus on sediment from the Paleo Eocene Thermal Maximum, or PETM for short, um, which was an extreme global warming event 56 million years ago. Um, looking at the source of nutrients, species of diatoms, and the elemental composition will provide um, and be preserved in the diatomaceous earth. This sounds complicated and part of me, but why should we care about this information? Didn't you say the PE? TM event occurred 54 million years ago? Well, you see, we are currently entering into another global warming event, 
and scientists think PETM was the last major global warming event. So we can use what it was like during the last PETM to create predictions for what might be the next global warming event that we are entering into. I see. Thank you for the clarification. Well, bon voyage and safe travels. Thank you. And one last word for all the viewers out there. The items are cool and you should totally like them.